consider right, the sequence, right, the sequence n followed by n followed by n followed by n and all the way down. And you're free to choose whatever the n is yourself. Okay. Now its power series, its power series is going to be well. The first term is n, so it's going to be n plus n times x plus n times x squared plus n times x cubed plus and all the way down. Okay. Now, so let's just call this here. This is the g g n of x. This is the g n of x power series for this constant, this constant sequence that we have here. Okay. So what we could do now is this: is let's let's have a look. Let's have a look at the same argument. Let's calculate. Let's calculate. I should have shifted this over here again. Let me just write this down again. Okay. Let me just write this down again. Okay. So this is g n of x is simply equal to n plus n x plus nx squared, plus nx cubed, all the way down, okay? Um, and let's multiply this by x. So we're going to say x times gn of x, okay? Is, well, n times, x times n gives us nx. x times nx gives us nx squared. x times nx squared gives us nx cubed, and so on and so forth. And once again, what we're going to do is we're going to take away this this series from the first series. So to take it away, we're going to multiply across by minus one. Okay, so this becomes all negative right across. And once again, we see that they cancel, they cancel, they cancel, and everything telescopically cancels all the way down to infinity. Okay? So effectively, what we now have is when we add these two things together, we end up with g of n of x minus x times g n of x. Okay, uh, is equal to well, everything's cancelled except for the n, so it's equal to n. What's common here is the gn of x. Let's take that out. gn of x times 1 minus x. That's what's common. We multiply out the brackets. What do I multiply gn of x by to give me gn of x? Is multiply by 1. What do I multiply gn of x by to give me x minus x times gn of x? We multiply it by minus x. So this gives us minus n. And therefore, we have gn of x, the generating function, uh, must be equal to n over one minus x. So in general, in general, well, you can actually see what this is here, yeah? Okay. So you can actually see in general that the generating function for a constant sequence is actually effectively just a constant divided by one minus x, okay? So the generating function for this particular series, power series, yeah, okay, is just, it's just n times, yeah, that's actually equal to n times one over one minus x, okay? So effectively what we've done here is that we, from a general perspective, we've shown, we've shown what the general, the general function is. So if I want to calculate, so once again, let's consider, let's consider the sequence, which we haven't done so far, the constant sequence, three, 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 and so on. Uh, and if I want to calculate its generating function, okay, so if I want to calculate the generating function, the generating function, okay, of its, of its power series, of its power series, that's probably the better terminology to use. Well, we know that gn, gn of x is simply equal to n over 1 minus x. We've just shown that. And the constant term in this case, all the way through the sequence is a 3. So g of 3 of x the generating function for the, the sequence of constant trees, all that each term is simply equal to three over one minus x. So given this now general form, we can calculate the generating function for any power series uh, where, where, where it's constant. Really what I wanted to show you now is this, is that, hmm, that's interesting. But without having to do this gen general formula, we could look at the two previous sequences. So let's have a look at one, 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 and so on. And the other one that we did was two, 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 and so on. Okay. Now, what we hope can probably see is this, is that if we add these term by term, okay, so the first term is two plus one gives me three, two plus one gives me three, two plus one gives me three, two plus one gives me three. Okay, if that makes sense. What we can actually see is we end up with this particular sequence here. Okay? And actually, more importantly, from our argument, 
that when we look at the two generating functions of both of them sequences, yeah. So when we look at the power series of them, first of all, their power series, okay, their power series, uh, the first one, g of one, okay, the, let's say uh, we have we have it's it's one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed all the way. For this one, it's two plus two x plus two x squared plus two x cubed all the way to infinity. And once again, we can see that when we add these two power series together, we end up with three plus three of x plus three x squared plus three x cubed and all the way down, which is the power series, which is the power series for three, 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 and so on. So if what we have here is when we sum the two power series together, we get the actual sequence, well then, and this is the powerful thing in relation to these generating functions, is that given the generating functions, given, given the generating functions, let's say g1 of x, which we know is equal to 1 over 1 minus x, and let's say g2 of x, which is equal to, one, oh, it's equal to 2 over 1 minus x, well then we have now got that g3, g3 of x, is we know it's the sum of the two power series, so it must be the sum of the two generating functions. Well, let's send these together. So it's 1 over 1 minus x plus 2 over 1 minus x. Common denominator here is 1 minus x. 1 minus x into 1 minus x goes once. Once times 1 gives us 1. 1 minus x into 1 minus x goes once. 1 times 2 gives us 2. Oh, wow, and look what we end up with. We end up with 3 over 1 minus x, which is exactly which is exactly what we got from the general term. Okay. So hopefully by in this introduction, okay, so this is only an introduction, okay, but hopefully that this particular introduction, okay, uh, showed you something interesting in relation to these generating functions. Okay. Uh, what it now allows us to do is allows us to you can see that we can actually add generating functions together to get generating functions that are associated with other power theories that are also associated with that that encode particular particular sequences. Uh, so I wanted to keep things nice and simple here. I just wanted to have a look in this particular video, keeping it simple. We were just looking at constant sequences. Okay, constant sequences is all that we were looking at, and we were looking at their generating functions, just so that we can understand actually what a generating function is. And in the next in the next video, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at some more exciting sequences. Maybe we'll even have a look at, what we'll have a look at is, let's say, the sequence of natural numbers and see, can we generate a generating function? Can we calculate the generating function associated with its power series? And we might have a look at even numbers and odd numbers uh, in relation to the sequence of even numbers, the sequence of odd numbers. And we'll see, can we generate their power, their, their power series and their associated generating functions? Okay, guys, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert uh, with Maths and Stats, and I hope that this video uh, dealing with generating functions and an introduction to generating functions uh, associated with sequences, I hope that this was intuitive, and more importantly, I do hope that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.